Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you're having a great week this week. It's Friday, the week is over, and we can look forward to the weekend. Um, if you are a subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you very much for coming back and watching and subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, without you guys, obviously my channel would go nowhere. Um, so I, I greatly appreciate the fact that you guys put your time into watching my videos and supporting me. It It is a very humbling uh, thing to know that so many people are, are watching what you do. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much. Um, if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome. I hope you find what I do here interesting or informational or educational or if none of those, at least entertaining. I hope uh, I hope you at least have some fun with it. Um, maybe learn something new. Um, maybe solidify something you already knew. But anyway, that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. Most of you know that I have recently switched from Arch Linux to Void Linux. Um, not for any reason in particular besides the fact that I tested Void and loved it. That being said, I wanted to have uh, another change as well. And so what I've done is I've switched from my normal window managers of DWM and Xmonad to probably my third favorite window manager behind those two that is really close third, but has just always been not quite there. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to try living in it now. And that's Herbst Luft. Now, if we open up Herbst Luft's website, um, the documentation for this window manager is pretty awesome. Um, if you go to their website at herbstluftwm.org, sorry, it's kind of a mouthful, but you can see it right up here in my, uh, I've got Firefox up and you can, uh, you can see the website name right there, but it shows you how to get it, how to use it. It's got community support. Documentation is pretty darn good on this, uh, on this uh, window manager. Um, it's got all kinds of stuff going on here. You've got migration, you've got tutorials, on how to do the basic installation, the package managers, the, I mean, uh, installing from the package manager, starting it up using the client, tiling, all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, you've got your objects, um, you've got Herb's Luft, and you've got Herb's Client. Herb's Client is kind of the commands that uh, control everything in Herb's Luft, and so it's real similar to BSPC in BSPWM. Uh, but that being said, I, I highly suggest you come over here, check it out. Uh, they have a GitHub page as well, so you can check out check it out on GitHub too. Um, um, you can also be have user contributions to it. Uh, you can see right here, maybe um, at GitHub.com, Herb's Luft, Herb's Luft WM. That it's just a great window manager, and so I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. I've always liked it. I've always enjoyed using it. It's outside of um, Xmonad and DWM. It's the one I've probably spent the most time in, um, just off and on. Usually, I'll, I have like 10 to 15 to 20 window managers installed on my system at any given time, um, and I'll jump in and out of other window managers for a day or two after goofing around in them for a little bit just to keep myself fresh with them, but the only one that I ever stayed in for any longer than that, besides CWM and Xmonad, was Herps Looked, and I would live in that for a week or two at a time and then go back to DWM and Xmonad. Well, we're going to try and make this long term. You know, we've got a new distro. Let's try a new window manager. So that being said, um, the configuration file for Herbs Luft is really simple. Um, you just create a, um, in your dot config directory, a Herbs Luft directory. And then in that directory, you'll have a auto start file, which is just basically a bash script. And so I'm not going to go over this in depth right now because there's one certain thing I want to talk about in Herbs Luft that really sells it for me. Um, but you can see it's just a basic uh, shell script, uh, real simple syntax, really simple to understand, really simple to edit um, and to configure. So again, I just highly recommend you check it out. That being said, I'm not big. Most people, when they use window managers, you know, they're all about manual tiling or dynamic tiling or, you know, whatever. The tiling portion of it really honestly isn't too big of a deal for me. It's not the tiling that I like window managers for, it's the workspaces. So if I'm going to have more than two, two tiles open in a window at any given time, I'm probably going to move some of those onto another workspace. Um, I don't like having a cramped screen and having to, to scroll through stuff. That option is awesome on window managers, but I don't like having to do it myself. So another thing I like about Herp's Luft is the fact that the tiling, the layouts, is pretty basic. It, let's launch some windows here. We'll uh, let's launch uh, Firefox here, um, and then we'll launch Nemo. 
and then we'll launch what else can we launch that's something that we can be uh, let's do this and do ncmpcpp so that being said you can see that there's a couple different there's only a couple different layouts on herbstuff this is going to be the main one that uh, is just kind of like i3 you've, where it's just uh, oh, splits the screen splits the screen again splits the screen again um, you can toggle through them with your mod key and um, HJK and L or the arrow keys or whatever you set it up to be um, or with tab all your uh, mod key and tab and if you hold mod key shift and tab it'll go back through it the other direction um, it's got this layout which is just full screen so or monad um, or excuse me monocle um, if you do mod tab it just cycles through mod shift tab will cycle back through the other way um, so that's basic and then it's got this which is the grid so again if you do mod tab you'll cycle through them mod shift tab will send you back through the other way um, you can swap windows with I believe alt shift and then whichever key you set up as um, I have my arrow keys set up but you, you know if you use your mod key and shift and then your arrow keys you can move windows around that way um, and then there is the three stack or the stack um, so these are this is all that BSPWM comes or excuse me BSPWM <laughs> uh, this is all that herbs lift comes with I don't even know why I said BSPWM I really have not used that all that much I tried it one time it was extremely slow probably my fault but I just never got back into it so why I've got BSPM in my head BSPWM in my head I don't know Anyway, that being said, um, as you can see, the four layouts for Herb's Lift are pretty basic. And for me, personally, they work perfectly fine. But the cool thing about Herb's Lift is, you, like I said, you have the three stack, or the stack, you've got this uh, columns, uh, you've got the uh, monocle, and you've got the grid. Those all work perfectly fine. But you also have another option. So let's close all these windows. And... Kind of like in i3 where you can do your mod key and then I believe it's the H and the V keys to determine where your window's gonna your next window is gonna spawn whether it'll be below or to the side. This is real similar to that, but basically I don't even have to have anything up, and I can do say so. Let's see here. Say I open a terminal here and it's full screen, right? Well, let's close the terminal and say I hit mod O. Doesn't look like it did anything, right? Well, if I launch a terminal now. Now I've split my screen 50 or 60 40. So if we look right, let me find it here. I don't remember where I'm at in my configuration file. But there is a, oh, right here. Splitting the frames. HC keybind mod U and mod O splits. And so mod O will split it to the right um, and it'll be 60%, 40%. And mod U will split it to the bottom um, 60. So you have a 60% window on top. 40% window on the bottom. So you can split the screen. Once you split the screen, it's like each of those splits is its own screen. So if we go back to here, now I launch another window and look, it stays in there. And if I launch another window, it stays in, it goes on the bottom. Now I can cycle through the different layouts there on this side. If I want to move to the other split, then I hold my mod key and hit the arrow key to the right and that'll move me to the right split and then I can start launching stuff there. And you can see we can cycle through it over there. So it like splits the window into own their own separate little windows. But again, I don't like having a lot of windows and up up and going. So why are you, why would you think this is cool for me? Well, let me show you. Because what I like to do is, if we close out all these windows and then you want to kill the split, it's mod R. So now we're back to a normal window. Basically, there's a couple of reasons that I like this, and I'm going to go over the one main reason right now. The main reason is because there's certain times when I'm using my computer, mainly when I'm doing my schoolwork, I like to be able to have my textbook open on the screen, and I also like to be able to have a notes, like a notepad, which I use Vim for my notes, but I like to be able to have a notepad open too. And I don't like taking up a whole lot of space with my notepad. And I've used the scratch pad before, which if you watched my previous videos on scratch pads, I am a firm believer in scratch pads, which is another just a little hint that that's another video on Herb's Lift I'm going to be going over is the scratch pads on it because that's awesome. Or the scratch pad, um, which is a little different than on most distributions, so stay tuned. 
but I've, so I've used scratch pads, but constantly launching and closing the scratch pad as I'm trying to take notes and it's covering up the book on the stuff I'm trying to write, you know, it just kind of got hectic and you know, yeah, I could split the screen and, um, like say I do a mod O and I split the screen, right? Well, you can do, I believe mod control and press your mod control and then use the arrow keys and you can grow and shrink the size of the split which is cool but it is kind of a hassle to have to do that every time you want to open up then you split the screen and then you make your other smaller window and you get everything set up you know that's just time consuming so what I have done is I've created these right here um, well I shouldn't say I've created I have edited these that I found online but I'm gonna try and build a script that is actually combines these two together so I have one script but basically what these do is that herbs client um, command that I talked about uh, here when we were in the documentation and I went over herbs and herbs client how I said it was kind of like BSPC well that herbs client command um, will basically store your layout for you if you use the dump command so basically you could kind of set the windows how you want so I could do like set my windows here and then we'll split it and we'll do this and then we'll go over here and we'll launch here and then we'll you and we'll go down here and we'll launch so I could have this layout and I could run a herbs sorry I'm sitting in my car and I can't see client dump and then put the window information or whatever in there and it would store it and so that is a kind of a workaround. If I wanted to create this and then have it set up so I could just do it and everything, and then if I change workspaces, just type that. But again, that's a lot of work. So basically what I've done is, with those two scripts, what we've done is say I am on a workspace and we are gonna get rid of the splits. So I've got a whole workspace here, right? No splits on the screen whatsoever. Now, say I want to create a custom workspace for just when I'm doing my school. Well, okay, let's see here. I like to do things underneath there. So here's what we'll do. Say I want to have, so we'll close that and let's open Firefox because that's where I go to school. And so, okay, this is where my textbooks would be and it would be in Firefox. Um, I would have my textbook open on the web page that I'm going through and everything. And down here, I would like to have this just real narrow and I like to have a terminal up and then I clear it and there we go and so then I can vim say chapter four notes so now I've got my notes open down here and I have my textbook open up here and I'm reading and I can be down here typing as I'm reading and everything's great well again do I want to have to set this up every time that I log into my system no so Basically, what we can do is if I run that, I have it set up, these two scripts here. This one here is um, called my new layout, and this here is called load layout. So if I run my new layout script, which I basically have set up to a hotkey, so I have this all set up here, and I do my mod key, and I hit S. Now I get this D menu right up here this D menu prompt that comes up that asks me what my layout name is so let's just call this one school actually we'll call it school one two three because I don't know if I have another one already created named school <laughs> and we hit enter now nope, doesn't look like it did much of anything right well let's go ahead and close that let's close the split and quit so now you can see we're back into our normal full screen mode. Now, if I want to, okay, I've opened up my machine. Okay, now I'm gonna be going to my school. So what do we wanna do? I, let me press Alt L, which is load. And oh look, there's school one, two, three right there. What that does is it stores this and I hit enter and now boom, I have my split that I created originally. All I have to do is go up here, launch my web browser, and I am good to go with that same split that I had. So it saves your layout. And what it does is, if we quit that, close that, let's uh, clear the screen and zoom in. Go back over here. What this does for the save is it runs a D menu and it asks you for the prompt uh, prompts you for the layout name and then it runs that herbs client dump command and it stores all that window information all that layout information into a directory I've created in my dot config slash herbs lift wm slash layouts and then uh, the uh, ln which is right here 
which is the D menu, and it's gonna that's gonna be the name that I give it. So it's gonna store this, uh, like the one we just made is gonna be dot config herbs lift layouts school one two three. So that's all that does is it takes all that information for that layout that you just set up and it stores it in this location. Then when you want to load it with my mod L key, which I have it set up to, it runs this script and select is it ls that directory that we stored that name in and it pipes that into D menu. So it gives you the names of all the different layouts you've made and then it allows you to, it gives you a prompt and says which layout, you select that layout and it does Herb's client load. So it basically takes and it loads that layout, whichever one you selected, it loads that one and pops it back up. So it's just a real simple, hey, I'm gonna set up this layout that I like for certain things, like mine is for school. I have another one that I do when I'm running uh, scripts and stuff and I'm writing on one side and I wanna run it on the other um, just to check for making sure things are okay. Um, so there's a couple different ways I use it. It's really cool and it's one of the great things I like about Herb's Lift. Um, there's a few more of these videos to come on this because this is a great window manager. If you've never tried it, I recommend checking it out. Whether you live in it or not, that's up to you. Whether you even install it or not, I just highly recommend you go read it, check it out, um, and yeah, give it a shot because it's a really underutilized, I think very overlooked window manager and there's not a lot out there on it with people. Um, I believe there's a Linux distribution called Hefter. I believe that's an Arco spin that uh, that runs Herpslip, but there's not a lot of people that are real familiar with it and that use it and actually know what's going on with it. And I'm learning a lot on it right now. I'm loving it and I'm, I'm really thinking I'm gonna be sticking with it for a while. Um, I'm going to go over, I've got a few more videos on it coming up, so stay tuned if you, if you like this and you think it might be something you're interested in. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, enjoy your time off and rest and, and spend some time with your families and friends and yeah, just have a great time. Be safe. God bless.